Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas from Visual Sense Crafts and I wanted to do a swipe today. So I've prepared my board and I made these MDF art panels um, and I've prepared this one already. But as you know, all these uh, lovely pictures that we come out with, these designs, it takes a lot of preparation. The finished article is all nice and doesn't take too long, but the prep takes ages. So I've made my boards. I've given them three coats of gesso. I've put the tape underneath to protect the bottom. And I've put my push pins in to hold on to. And now, sometimes these push pins do come out when you're trying to hold on to them when you're chipping your board. So I've put an extra precaution on and I've put these duct tape same as what I put on my tiles when I do the tiles. Put duct tape on with a little tab and it just gives you something extra to hold on to. So when you're tipping, you've got underneath to hold on to like that. So that's my little tip for today. Now, what my, my plan, <laughs> my aim is to do a swipe and I want it to look similar to like a stained glass window. Now, <laughs> that's what I want, <laughs> but what I come out with might be something completely different. So, I actually did a, um, or attempted to do a pour on this before, so it completely failed. So what I did was pour, scrape it all off and then put the paint back on that I tipped off so I didn't waste all the paint. So this is all nicely dried and ready to go. Now my colours today, Ah, oh, some that I'm using up actually from my previous video and I've just um, put extra uh, pouring medium in them to water them down a little bit or to, to make them a little bit runnier, not to water them down, but to make them a little bit runnier. Um, so my black that I'm just going to use on the base is the Mars Black from Arteza. Then I'm going to use this Crimson Red from Arteza. Now some of these colours do look a lot lighter, but they will dry darker. You see this black, I don't know, you might be able to see it better with the black. It looks a bit grey, but that's only because the pouring medium and the, um, the varnish that I put in there is white, but they dry clear. But so when you mix the paints, they do look a lot lighter, but they will darken up. So that's my Crimson Red by Arteza. My Thalo Green by Arteza. I mean, that really does look a lot lighter, doesn't it? But I promise you they will darken up. And then I've got um, my purple here. And that is a mixture of two. Um, it's a mixture of deco art extreme sheen amethyst and pebio oriental violet so that's a mixture of those two and then we've got the pebio iridescent precious gold <clears throat> excuse me so that's all colors that i've used previously and I thought I'll just carry on with the theme of these colours because I like them so much. I'm just going to tip a good covering over here just to have so the paint's got something to flow onto. Just give it a quick spread out. Now these paints are a lot thinner than what I used for the Shelly Art swipes, uh, the Shelly Art blooms where you blow down into the paint. When you're doing a swipe, they need to be quite a bit runnier because they need to have plenty of movement. So just cover quickly like that. So I've already painted the board black. So all my edges are nicely covered, so not too crucial at this point. Just that black off. Black always seems to get everywhere. So, what I thought was, 
I'll just give that a quick torch. I've got bubbles in there. Bursting them. I'm getting a little cocktail stick. Yeah. Um, I thought what I would do today is go from the centre and do a nice thick line across there. But I'm also going to give it some extra colour down here as well because we don't want all that black taken over. So we are putting quite a bit of paint on here. And then our Pebio green. And then our lovely mixed purple. And then our gold. The gold can actually take over, so I'm not put quite as much of that on. So I think that will do for that. And then I'll get my acetate sheet that I'm going to do the swipe with. I'll get that ready and I'll get my tissue ready under here. Ooh, let's move that a little bit so I'll get my tissue down. There. Oopsie. So I'm going to put my black cell activator which is Amsterdam black oxide and flood flow troll mix and I'm going to put it down the centre and this is a lot thinner than the colours and then I'm going to swipe from the centre and drag that over the colours There. I would have managed to miss a little part of it. So I'm not going to trust myself to go back that way. I'm going to turn it around. Otherwise, I'll completely mess it up. I'll just put a little wee bit more black on there. See, it's really quick and if simple technique, but the preparation for these sort of things just takes so long. As you know, if you do, if you do this sort of paint pour or any sort of paint pouring, so drag that over the colours. Put that on my table at the back. Clean that off later. I'm just going to get a piece of this tissue and drag that over there and then drag a bit over this edge here and then what I'm going to do, I don't know what I've done with my turkey baster. Right, I found my turkey baster. <laughs> Things you never thought you'd hear yourself say. So I'm just going to blow the centre part a little bit. Ooh, I don't want to ruin those cells. Do it over here where there's not much cells. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think that's going to do much, you know. So I'll just, I'll just tip. Give it a little tilt. See how we get on. It's looking absolutely gorgeous as it is. How beautiful does that look? So let's start tilting, see how we get on. Should be plenty of paint on here for this, because I did put a lot on, which is the beauty of using a board rather than a canvas. I'll hold on to those tabs underneath now, because you can, um, the, the weight of the paint can often make the canvas sag in the middle which you really, really don't want. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you. <laughs> the downside of using these tabs underneath is you get paint poured all over your wrists. <laughs> but those of us that do paint pours are used to that sort of thing. Well, it's not looking stained glass window, is it? <laughs> but it is looking really rather lovely. looking really pretty really really pretty I don't know if you can see the shimmer on that but it looks absolutely gorgeous so we get some of that corner there oh I don't really want to tip it too much because I just love it the way it is our edges are covered just about covered I'm not so keen on that Bottom corner there. So we'll just see how we get on tipping. I don't want this over stretched up here. Oh, it is looking gorgeous. Um, how far to go? See, we never know when to stop, do we? With our tipping. And tilting and tip it back to the center. That is looking beautiful. Oh, I'm really loving that. Oh, so, so pretty. Do I stop? Do I keep on tilting? Oh, just don't know. I love it. I love it as it is, you know. I really do love it as it is. <laughs> so I want a little bit off that edge. Use a little bit off that edge. I want all the edges covered properly and I just want a teeny bit off there. Are you shouting at me? <laughs> Tilly, stop tipping it! <laughs> How far dare I go? You see that's now stretched out quite nicely. I think I can take a bit more of that corner, you know. <laughs> it's like a game of cat and mouse, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. It looks stunning. Don't spoil it, Tilly. Don't you spoil it. onto my tabs again. You see I like how these cells have opened up here. I think that looks beautiful and I'm wondering whether I should do try and get these to open up in a similar sort of way. Oh oh I don't want to spoil it but I think it could be better if I stretched it. What do you think? <laughs> Am I being silly? Oh, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, this looks smashing. Oh, the colours are so beautiful. Now, back down. You see, if I stretch these, it's going to open up the colours underneath so you can see the colours underneath a bit more. It's definitely not a stained glass window though, is it? <laughs> but but it is beautiful nonetheless. I'm going to have to stand up for it. Yeah, I'm going to have to open those a bit more because they are opening beautifully. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Try another time for a stained glass window. <laughs> I'm not giving up. <laughs> <clears throat> See, my reds haven't come through. They're just starting to come through as I'm opening those up. And I really do want some of the red. And if I take it back now that way, without dropping it, I think that should just stretch those nicely. Because I'm not loving this corner. I'm definitely not loving that. So if I take it that way, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, the shimmer in this is just beautiful. Let's get that little corner off. Because this is looking, this is looking better now. It's opening up a bit. But that corner is the only bit I don't like. So I'm happy to lose that. Now take it back down a little bit, just a little bit. Can you see how gorgeous that's looking? I think I might leave it there because I think that is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> Not the stained glass window that I was after. But I'm going to bring it down for a, a close-up. And I hope you will agree that that has turned out really rather lovely. So this is the close-up. I'm really sorry. I've been trying to get it so... There's no shadow or light reflecting on it, but I'm really struggling, so I'll do my best. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. Look how stunning that is. I'm so happy with it. This is going to look beautiful when it's resined, and it'll bring all those colours out even further. So thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm really humbled by every single new subscriber that I get. So I really appreciate every single one of you. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell notification. Then you'll get notified when I bring out more videos. So I do hope you like that as much as I like it because I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm ever so sorry about the light. I've got I know I've got a shadow over there, but let me tilt oh if I tilt it like that. How gorgeous is that look? All that lovely glistening, all that gold and all the reds up here came through. It looks a bit like a peacock. Peacock feathers absolutely beautiful so that's that one and hopefully i'll see you next time for my next adventure in this lovely painting world 
Bye for now.